Shoppers stroll Chicago's famed magnificent mile laden with bags of merchandise. Most, of course, paid for their clothing or meals or manicures with either cash, check or credit. But among the throng is a growing number of consumers like Denise Crampton and Steve Arvey, people who, instead of just using cash, barter for goods and services online. On websites all over the country, a separate barter economy is enabling people to trade their goods and services. Did you, were you busy today? Yeah, a little bit. Had yeah. a good lunch crowd. Denise tends bar, models, and does some acting. She can trade an hour of any of these for a price she names. Say I did a half a day shoot for $500 or something like that. Then I have the 500 in my account and I can take that and use it any way I choose to. I went to the dentist, had my teeth worked on, which is great, and also get my pictures done with a film company we work with that develops photos for my book. Traditional bartering takes place between two people, such as you help me build my house and I'll design your garden. But the net offers a bit more flexibility. Take Denise's dentist, for example. He doesn't necessarily use me to bartend. He can do whatever he wants with his, like, you know, say it was 300, 400 I, for dental work like I had. Well, my dentist can use that on anything else. Not, he doesn't have to use it on me. Her dentist might instead use his barter dollars to hire Denise's boyfriend, Steve, who's a part-time musician. Steve, in turn, will pick up services that advance his music Come career, on. like CD duplication. Never won't you wanna go. Yeah, let me check my inventory. I think but I Steve doesn't stop there. He stock. uses his barter account at his day job as an electronics wholesaler. Just because I just got a lot of stock. John Hora runs the 10-year-old barter site where Steve and Denise trade. I, I, Steve, I'd take them all if you want to trade them all out. Right. I'd love to. I'd love to move these. Let's write it up. Well, when I was a kid, I used to trade orange crushes with, for Eskimo pies with my sisters. And we were always getting into problems. Well, now, you gave me two last time, and I only had one of yours. And uh, that's one of the th nice things about an organized system is we keep it all straight. One of those things they keep straight, by the way, is your tax bill. They notify the IRS of your barter earnings and send clients a 1099-B form as a reminder. All for a fee, of course. Transaction fees can range from 3 to 7% for both parties. And some barter services charge a membership fee. John says there's no limit to what you can trade. He's even had clients pay for entire weddings with barter dollars, from the dress to the prenup. But John cautions that bartering shouldn't be the core of anyone's business. Rather, he says, the icing on the cake. They can bring them extra business that they wouldn't have had otherwise, and they can use that money to buy things that they otherwise would have paid cash for, and that's how they save money. That's how it hits the bottom line. All right.